This is for the girl. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. Don't judge me. Your girl is a little big. But, oh, so dark. It is so dark. You can't even see me. No, 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 that's not good. Let's try here. All right. So it's a little dark, but this is what I'm wearing. I have on a tasel top. This is just like a real stringy, fun top. Oh God, now I want to be blurry. Thank you. <laughs> okay, are you gonna stay like this? Okay. Anyways, um, I just got ready. So, hair did, makeup did. The lashes was giving me a really hard time. And they finally wanna stay together because every time I was putting it on, it was like going this way, like it was leaning. I don't need you to lean like this one look perfect but this one just kept leaning you ever see girls and their lashes just be like 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 down i've been wanting to tell them like sis let me fix your um, lashes for you but i don't want to be one of those girls so anyways i got on all black <laughs> it's giving a little sign it's giving it's giving a little sign yeah i got a little fupa but you know you gotta make it you gotta make it work i don't know if y'all can hear me because the music is so loud but you gotta make it work. You gotta make it do what it do. Anyways, I don't got the fattest ass, but I got a little something. Got a little something. So that's why I wanna work out because I know if I work out, it's over for you hoes. It's over. It's over. Lipo wear. BBL wear. Nah. <laughs> One day I'll get a BBL. But, um, yeah, we about to go on the strip, y'all. Don't mind me. I don't know what today's gonna bring, but I do know it's hotter than yesterday. <laughs> So that's why I wore this, so let's just see. Anyways guys, I'm rambling at this point and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so we are getting in our Uber. My camera's a little blurry, but that's okay. Um, look at our car. We got a celebrity car, y'all. We got a celebrity car. Hold on, let me try to wipe my camera. Y'all see what we riding in? This is so pretty. I shouldn't have been on the edge of the street though, like that. Oh, he's trying to help us. That's not cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want us to go in the back? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want to go in the back? Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's so nice. Oh, it's too loud in here. He ain't got no mask. Sergio, how you do that? I always do that. Go. 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 Hey you guys, so we found this really cute spot. Me on the strip. You was you kept walking, okay? <laughs> Anyways, they got some really cute bathing suits. Oh, okay. I was just Wait, out there okay. in the strip and the girls gave me shot of tequila. And I'm about to get this um cover up right here so it could um cover up my bathing suit. We're all getting the same thing by the way. I mean this is cute, so why not? Great this is for the girls. This one is like a plastic. That yeah, is, yeah. you see that one? Yes, that's nice. That one is sexy. This? You want yeah, it? That is nice. nice. That one is sexy. How much is this one? That one is fifty nine because of the laser cuts. Yeah. It looks more expensive. Is it like cuts in the, on the side or something? But I feel like it, it won't fit me. You're yeah, the black. You could never go wrong with black. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Wear with anything. So that's cute. this is so cute and it's that's long and it has oh, yeah, a slit. This is mad cute. Mm. That's nice. That's nice. That is nice. my style too. How much is that? They have some really cute slippers. I should get the pack. 
Fashion Nova has this hat, but it, it's more expensive on Fashion Nova. Yeah, guys, I got it. Thank you. 760 Ocean Drive. The Perfect most trendy, place. The most trendy swimwear boutique in the whole Miami. Yeah, it's very beautiful in here. And we got a superstar over there. <laughs> oh my god, they got the pants. I have the black ones. They got the pants that everybody got. The see-through pants. What? Those pants are fire. Some more has it. I have one. Like. Everyone in the United States have one. <laughs> it's crazy. Definitely in South Yes. <laughs>
The Corona beer is like too much. It's so fizzy, so you can't really drink it. Sarah is stuck. She's stuck. She's stuck. Okay. Come on, come on. I need to try it. Let me try it. It's stronger. Y'all notice I didn't even take my shot yet. that I can see straight into these people's home that means they can see straight into this home I'm sorry I'm trying to fix the camera it's cricket. Right. you guys um last night was a total disaster it was so bad where I had to call it quits I had to call in quits and just like go home and go to sleep or else it would have got worse <laughs> So, me and my cousin got into a fight. <laughs> Not a fist fight. We just got into an argument, and like, this is day two of an argument. Like, we, we only been here for three days so far. I feel so disgusting with myself because I, I, today I might not even drink. I know I'm on a vacation, but waking up feeling super hungover, It just tastes, this water just tastes like creamy-ish for some reason, like, like it's not, okay, <laughs> I'm not trash, but you taste bad, whatever company this is, you taste bad, if no one would hang out with me, I'm totally fine with that, what are we doing today, oh, oh yeah, let me show you guys what happened to my phone, like, I cannot believe myself, like, my phone is broken, look at this, hold on. Let me wipe it. My voice is so hoarse. So my phone is extremely broken. I don't know. Look at that. It's 8, 10 in the morning right now. It's 8 a.m. I think I want to go to um, T-Mobile and have them fix it. Or I'm thinking about, it can be water damage, but this is giving me water lines. Like it's giving me water vibes, but I didn't drop it in the water or nothing like that. I remember dropping it on the floor and then I got a bunch of white lines. But I think I'm gonna go to T-Mobile out here and yeah, see, maybe it's time for a new phone because normally when stuff like this happens to me, my phone never really breaks. Like I could go a long time with a phone. Um, so when my phone breaks, it's normally time for a new phone. So that means I'm kind of excited actually that it broke. Like. It was meant to break. Now I'm gonna get the 12 because I deserve it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Y'all, I am extremely exhausted. That is so much better. <laughs> but I have a feeling all of this water is gonna come right back up, honestly. And if it do, hurry up. So I can feel no more again because I feel hungover and I hate this feeling and I told myself I would not get like this while I'm on this trip because I don't do it anymore at home so why would I come on a trip and do it yeah let me tell you guys at the restaurant right we got our food the food was great and all and then um I thought my food was supposed to come with fish so I asked my waiter, I was like, um, excuse me, does this come with fish? Because I don't see the fish here. And he goes, what are you talking about? You know, you're you're working. Why are you talking to me like that? All I asked was, is this supposed to come with fish? He goes, what are you talking about? Like, you know, laughing. And I'm like, okay, I guess that's your personality. But um, 
where's the fish? Is it supposed to come with fish? And mind you, I was very nice about it. And then he's like, oh, you didn't want fish. You didn't want fish. I'm like, sir, I'm asking you. On the menu, it says that. It says shrimp, scallops, mussels, um, clams, and it said fish, some type of fish. I don't know what type of fish that was. I was asking him, you know, he's like, no, no. Oh, that's how the chef made it. I'm like, sorry, you're not answering my question. Like, do you know if this meal come with fish or not? He didn't know, obviously. So I said, can I just speak to your manager or can you ask the chef, is my food supposed to come with fish? Because obviously you don't know. He goes and he's like, okay, okay. And he walks away, but he's talking very rudely. He walks away and I'm just like, honestly, I'm over it. I don't want the food anymore. I don't like how I'm being treated. I just don't want to even be here, pretty much. And um, he goes to ask his um, manager. He comes back like, oh no, it's, it's, it don't come with fish. And I'm like, okay, so why did it mention fish on the menu, on the meal description? Well, he passed me the menu and, he, and I'm like, yeah, let me show you. It says clams, mussels, scallops, shrimp, um, calamari, and it says fish right here. So how come my food don't have fish in it? So he's like, let me see, and snatches the menu out of my hand. And I'm like, sir, why are you snatching it? Why are you getting mad at me? Because I'm asking you if I could get some fish in my food. I'll pay extra if that's what it is. Pretty much, he, when he snatched it, I lost it. I was like, let me just speak to your manager. I'm sorry, I cannot have a conversation with you at this point. You're very rude. Um, so he's like, okay, okay, I'll go get my manager. My mad rude still, and then he go get the manager, and he, I see him explaining the situation to the manager at first before she come to me. And I'm just like, lady, I'm sorry, I just take this food out. He, and she's like, is there a reason why? I said, I thought it came with fish. She said, let me check with the um, chef. At this point, my food is cold. She like, let me check with the chef. She goes and go check with the chef. I'm like, you're a manager. You look like you're the owner of this place. The way she was moving, so um, you should know if the food come with fish or not. You asked me what type of meal I had, I told you. You should know what comes in each meal. You're trained for that. She walks away. Don't come back till like 15 minutes later. Everyone, everyone I was with already ate their food and all. And I'm just like, I don't want this food anymore. My food is cold. I don't even want it at this point. And um, she comes back. And she says that it's a fish sauce. The fish I read, it was, I forgot the name of it, but it's, that means fish sauce. That's what that means. It doesn't mean fish or like, you know, kingfish or salmon. Like it does, it just means sauce, fish sauce. So I said, lady, I'm sorry. Um, I just don't want the food anymore because I was expecting fish and I was honestly, mistreated by my waiter he snatched the menu out of my hand um at this point i'm not even hungry i'm disturbed like just take the food away and she's like okay no problem sorry about that so she brings i said and i'll take the bill because we're ready to leave everyone done ate i didn't eat anything so at this point i'm kind of like drunk because i was drinking one of those big margarita drinks so she goes back um she she brings the bill Tell me why there's gratuity on my bill. Who is paying gratuity to that man that treated me like a piece of crap from even when we first walked in, he treated us bad? Um, who's paying him? I'm not paying him. I didn't have a good time here. I just had a drink. So, mind you, I was drinking a little, so I'm feeling it and I have no food in my system. And I'm a little nice at the point, so I'm like, um, why is there gratuity on there? You know, I wasn't treated right. I don't want to give him a tip. And I don't want to pay out the chef, whoever. Maybe the bartender that made my drink, yeah, but no, I didn't eat any food. I'm not tipping. So she's like, I cannot, it's policy. I cannot take the um, gratuity off, but what I can do for you is take, is give you 20% uh, um, off. I'm like, lady, just do what you gotta do because my bill was still a hundred dollars because when my bill came it was 130 with the meal but when it came back to water gratuity is like 20 something dollar because we separated our checks and my gratuity is 20 something dollar i think it was like 22 dollars that's my meal was what 29 
24. My meal was 24. So why is my gratuity the same amount of my meal and I didn't even eat? You're, she's, they're bugging out. <laughs> so she was like, she'll take a percentage off. Why when my bill came back, it was only $50? I'm like, that's more like it because I said I'll pay for the hookah in my drink. Because I was paying for, for that to begin with. That's why my bill was so high. So I paid them, but the hookah was 45 and my drink was 40. So when it, when it, that's $80. When the bill came back, I was like, okay, thank you. It was $55. I was like, thank you. <laughs> I don't mind paying. Like, I don't. I came on a trip so I can eat good, you know, feel good, eat good, tip out. That's what people do on trips. That's what people do in life, period. I used to be a server. I used to be a bartender. I know how this thing goes. And I always, I don't care if I'm having a bad day, I always come with respect. I always, because I'm working, I want some type of money from you, right? So, I come with respect, I come with a friendly attitude, I never disrespect anyone or make them feel less of a person when they're sitting at my table. So that man did not care. He already judged us by our skin color when we first walked in, I tell you. He already probably thought we were gonna be ghetto or probably thought we was gonna treat him bad and I got treated bad. We were being very friendly, very classy with him and he snatched the menu out of my hand. That threw me all the way under the table. And I was fed up. But guys, we're still here. We have like two more days here. And yeah, I don't know how much I'm gonna pick up the camera because it's like a lot of things we're doing. We're thinking about renting a boat still. Um, maybe we'll do that today. No, today was beach day because one of the girls leave tomorrow. So today's beach day because we just want to be near water today. Um, I hope everybody wakes up early. I'm not waking up anyway. Like, I'm not doing it. I might, but I'm about to go back in bed myself, to be honest, because I feel like crap. 